Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to my Premier League predictions. This is the penultimate non fighting relating video I'm doing, and this is alongside my reaction to my Golden Glove and Golden Boot prediction. Just feeling like might as well do these now I've done them and now I've done the predictions. And yeah, so if you're new around here, yep, subscribe, please do so. Like video if you do need a lot of you, and let's get straight into it. So starting off in 20th place i said it would be bournemouth it was southampton southampton a really really bad season it just was there just wasn't really any kind of proven threat in front of goal to be honest and uh, well except from the last game of the season but other than that i mean for the rest of the year they never really had a proper good striker or anything like that and i uh, they didn't have the worst of defenses but it's just you could tell it wasn't premier league quality and that's why they got punished and I think this year in general, the whole Premier League has been so hard to predict, so I've got a lot wrong, but it's been an entertaining season as well. Moving on to my 19th position, I, I put Fulham, it was Leeds. Fulham, they they did a lot better than I expected Leeds, I was on about Leeds. They were in and around the relegation battle for a while, they've been for a couple of managers this season I believe. And overall, similar kind of thing to Southampton. They haven't really got an amazingly good goal score, I don't think. I mean, Rodrigo's been half decent, but I think in general, their team's just not been solid enough and they've been punished for it. And I think since Bielsa's left, they've lost their kind of creative spark to an extent and haven't quite been the same lead since Bielsa left, to be honest. Especially the leads that came up with Bielsa. Moving on to 18th now, uh, it was uh, Everton. I said it. No, I, it was. Leicester, I said it would be Everton. Um, I honestly thought that Leicester would be a lot better. And I think most people thought Leicester would be a lot better. Obviously, their recent form in leagues haven't been that bad. They've been a solid mid-table side. But this season, they just really underperformed. And they were getting some of their best players just not performing at times. And they just overall weren't strong enough. I know it was very, very close to them going down. And they were winning their game on the final game of the season. They won their game. But Everton won as well, and so they stayed up and Leicester went down. It's a shame because it's a big club in Leicester to go down. Like I said, I mean, it wasn't like that long ago since they were up in with... I mean, they won the league in, what, 2015, 2016. Then they won the FA Cup in 2019, I think. So it wasn't that long ago since all of the good stuff was happening with them. And so I'm sure as long as they can keep some of their good players, I think they'll lose quite a lot. But as long as they can keep a couple of their good players, then I think they'll be able to come straight back up. But it'll be a bit of a change for them and a bit of it'll be interesting to see how they deal with being back in the championship after it's been so long since they were moving on now to the 17th i told you it was everton that finished it i said it'd be nottingham forest uh, everton they i mean obviously it wasn't a great season for them either to be honest sean dyche managed to do it and keep them up and fair play to him i mean they started performing better come the final like five games of the season but overall their season wasn't great and I think next season they'll probably end up rebuilding and I think they'll probably end up having a better season next season now that Sean Dyche is going to kind of have a few transfers of his own and be able to have his own implementation of onto the team. And I, like I said, I think they were doing better and they were on a bit of a upwards course after being on such a downwards kind of spiral for the past even just two seasons, realistically. Moving on now to 16th, I put it would be Leeds. It was Nottingham Forest. I mean, I said that Forest would be 17th, 16th. Fair play to them. They did well. They won games, important games when needed. And that's what a lot of these teams that got relegated didn't do. They didn't win the important games and Forest did. And even the way, even against big teams like when they beat Arsenal, it's winning these important games is what the difference is between going up and going down. And I mean, at times they were conceding a lot more than they were probably it was necessary for them to. And their goal difference wasn't great. But that doesn't matter as long as you do win these scrappy little games 1-0 2-1 anything like that that's what's important and they did that and so fair play to them moving on now to 15th i said it would be southampton it was bournemouth bournemouth nobody thought that they would not get relegated literally nobody thought that so for them to get 15th is really impressive and i, I gotta congratulate that i don't mind bournemouth as a team i quite like them and i gotta congratulate them for being able to do that and no longer being just this yo-yo club and actually having a half-decent season where they beat good teams, they had good results, and it's been a 
probably their best season for a long time for them. And so it'll be interesting to see if it is just them coming back up and having this one season bounce and if they struggle next season. But they might not. They might be actually cementing themselves with a good manager they've got as well. And so it, it wouldn't surprise me if they have another season where they finish around this, this place. Moving on now to 14th. I said it would be Brentford. It was West Ham. West Ham wasn't really the best of seasons for them, to be honest. Um, they obviously were near about the relegation spots for a little while at the earlier start of the season, but they managed to get some momentum going, get some wins going, comfortably stay out of a relegation battle, but it still wasn't the best of seasons for them, especially as they have been competing for Europe. But I respect them for not sacking their manager in David Moyes and keeping that because I think he's done so well with the club already that you can't forget that and you've got to be able to respect if they have maybe a little bit of a lesser season because realistically, it's not going to affect the team negatively in any much way, to be honest. 14th, there's nothing really wrong with that. They're just going to have to deal with that and come back stronger next season. Moving back on to the 13th position now. I said it would be Aston Villa. It was Wolves. Uh, Wolves, I mean, uh, similar to what I kind of expected for Wolves, not the best of seasons. They were kind of struggling at the start. They also picked up a bit of momentum a bit later on, but in general, not the not the worst, not the best. Aston Villa did a lot better than I expected. We'll get onto that in a minute. Uh, so far, I mean, so bad for my predictions. I haven't got any right so far. Moving on to my 12th, I said it would be Wolves. It was Chelsea. Chelsea, wow, nobody expected that. Everybody thought that they would probably have a decent season this season. They brought in some, on paper, good signings. And just overall, they didn't perform. The kind of squad morale went. And that shows how important the squad morale is. And they just never really recovered from that. And they, I mean, they won a couple of important games at times to make it that they weren't in a relegation battle. But it was embarrassing, to be honest. And the fact that they can't really keep a good manager and keep settled with a manager isn't going to help either. And now they've got what Frank Lampard I don't know if they're going to see him much next season if he's even going to be around but we'll see how they do next season because realistically they haven't got the best of team, like teams morale wise they've got a good solid base but they just need an actual good manager to be able to put that together I also think that they probably should never have sacked Tuchel because I think with this team I think Tuchel probably would be doing better than what they are now that's just my opinion there moving on now to your 11th I said it'd be Leicester it was Crystal Palace, solid season for them, kind of expected, started off a little bit shaky, managed to recover it and ended up having a bit of a solid season. Leicester, I mean, you can see I predicted them 11th, they finished 18th, That's that shows how, how much faith I had in them before the season. Moving on now to 10th, Crystal Palace, they got 11th, uh, it was Fulham, Fulham had a very good season, I didn't expect them to have this good season I mean like I said they I thought they finished 19th they finished 10th and so I think this is the first season where they have fully removed themselves from being a relegation battle team they were a bit of a yo-yo club themselves at times but now they fully removed themselves and played good attacking football and difficult to beat football and so they've done well this season and it wouldn't surprise me if they're moving into maybe being a, like a Brentford or an Aston Villa or a Brighton like team or Newcastle like team, maybe not quite Newcastle, but a similar kind of around Europe level. I think now there is a lot more competition for Europe than there ever has been, and that is something that is making the leagues more interesting. Moving on now to ninth, I said it'd be Brighton. It was Brentford, solid season for them. I think they started quite well and then dropped off a little bit, but Ivan Tony had an amazing season, and I, it'll be interesting to see if they do sign anybody bigger of note for next season because. I think they've got a good squad, but they just are missing a couple like more big name players to be able to help them. But for the moment, they're doing enough to get ninth, and I think possibly next season they could be up closer to Europe. They weren't too far off, but even closer to Europe next season. Moving on to my eighth, I said it'd be Newcastle. It was Spurs. Uh, overall, Spurs not the best of seasons to be honest. I'm sure they would have wanted Champions League, but. Their squad has been relying on Harry Kane, to be honest, and that's been the only reason. They have been giving away sloppy results, just not necessary draws and losses against the lesser teams, but that's just cost them, and that's meant they've got eighth and missed out on Europe. And so it'd be interesting to see if that missing out on Europe is going to maybe benefit them for next season, just to have to play less games. But I still think that they are missing a big player now. And even though they did sign some good players at the start of this season, but just... 
they just need to cut out them sloppy results and them sloppy mistakes that are costing them results and maybe Eric Dyer. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Seventh position, Manchester United is what I said. It was Aston Villa. Aston Villa really surprised me as well. They did very well. Unai Emery's come in and been amazing for them. I don't think many ex people expected them to do that, but I think they've also gone under the radar a little bit. And now they've got Europe for the first time, I think, ever, or the first time in a long, long time. And so it'd be interesting to see how they deal with being in Europe. But realistically, they've always had that good team. But even when Steven Gerrard was in, they just could never really put it together. But Unai Emery coming in, and he's been amazing. So fair play to them. Moving on to my sixth, I said it'd be Arsenal. It was Brighton. Brighton had a bit of a rocky start to the season when they lost Graham Potter. People were thinking maybe that's their chances of being a good team gone out the window because they don't realistically have the best team on paper, but they just know how to play football and know what they have to do to be able to win games. They do win them soppy games, but quite often. And Brighton, I think now that they've got this new manager and he still managed to have success even more than normal then it just shows they are a, a good solid team and are now a team that are competing for Europe like I said we've now got more teams competing for Europe than ever before and just to touch on upon the fact that I said Arsenal Arsenal sixth I think most people were saying that Arsenal would finish around this point so the fact that they finished higher I know they didn't win the league but the fact that they finished higher is still credit to them and just at the start of the season nobody really expected it to be honest but I feel I'll, I'll talk about it more in a minute. Uh, moving on now to my fifth position. I said it was West Ham. It was Liverpool. Liverpool, not the best of seasons for them. They had a really rocky start and did manage to get some good results together and stop playing some good football. But realistically, they didn't have the best of seasons. They did let away some big results when necessary. And to miss out on Champions League for them is huge. And yeah, they're going to be playing Europa League next season, which realistically isn't what they're going to be wanting to do. But I think that they're maybe going to have to, I don't know, because they've got a good team. I don't really know where the weaknesses are. Maybe midfield, but I don't know. They've still got a good enough team to be Champions League. I think they just had an off season. Moving on now to fourth position. I said it'd be Chelsea. It was Newcastle. Newcastle, fair play to them. They've been amazing. They don't have on paper the best of teams, but... Just what they've been doing is amazing. You can't just blame it all upon the fact of them having these new owners. But because they just play good football now. And Eddie Howe's just been amazing with them. And fair play to him. They've had, he's made people less likely to be seen as crap players. Like they, He's made Joe Linton look good. And he's made certain players that are were seen as not very good to be seen as amazing. And so it's really credit to what he's done. And to be able to get Champions League football is amazing and fair play to them it will be interesting to see if they do make any more big signings but realistically they don't need to i think to be able to they just need to keep playing how they're playing and just not really drop off too much and just keep the morale and that's what a lot of it is same with brighton and uh, especially these teams who are up here which maybe on paper shouldn't be up here they just need to keep the morale going and then i think they'll be able to beat some of these teams which maybe are struggling on morale moving on now to my third position i said it'd be spurs it was man united Man United, a good solid season for them. I'm sure they'll take third and be comfortable at third. Probably a little bit annoyed they weren't around the title race, but especially as losing Ronaldo at the start of the season, I think that did them some good, to be honest, because I think that changed the focus away from Manchester United just being about Ronaldo and just kept a good team. And Ten Hag's done well. He did have a rocky start, but when all that pressure kind of went away, he managed to do well, and I think people aren't giving the credit he deserves right now. Moving on now to second position, I said it'd be Liverpool, it was Arsenal, like I said, Arsenal, fair play to them, obviously people are saying they bottled the league, they did to an extent, but like I said, nobody really expected at the start of the season for them to even finish second, let alone a kind of title race between them and Manchester City, that was close, but, so that's what i got to say, fair play to them, the Arteta's done amazing with them, and it's good to see players, even like Odegaard, just kind of reaching that potential and showing that they are a good team. Because I think on paper, they their team isn't like amazingly good. I don't think it's like a Manchester City, Manchester United level good. But what they are doing is just amazing. And what they're doing with their young players as well coming through is also amazing. So fair play to them. It'll be interesting to see if they can be around this level next season or not. 
And then moving on now to the only team in this whole thing I managed to get right, bang on, and that is Manchester City. I think it was inevitable that they were going to win the league. Even when they looked out of it, they still managed to crawl their way back into it. And that's fair play to them. And Haaland, amazing. The whole team, amazing. And it, it is going to be virtually impossible for them to lose, to be honest. And it's going to take a lot. But I'm sure... Maybe we'll have another entertaining title race next season. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope you did enjoy. Like if you need like this, subscribe if you're new. And thanks for watching.